Anyway, so it's Shell's turn. Yeah, it's Shell's turn. Okay. Oh. We should probably do a, a recap, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, yep. Well, that's a good wait. one in a while. Am I giving it? I thought yeah, that's what you're asking me to do. I mean, anybody can give it. Okay. Uh, how about a recap from the perspective of the boss monster? Um. <laughs> <laughs> He's just okay, like, this my isn't prey going has well. been deprived of me, and now it has returned. <laughs> I am okay. Mr. Clean so Blob 2000. <laughs> it's the I T2 was paid to clean the, the fort. It got dirtier <laughs> in the process. I'm now in a berserk rage. Kill all. No, no, no. I want to hear, I want to hear Shell's. She's doing a great job. Okay. This is already going ama- amazing. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> You want me to hear my rendition of the creature, or I'm... Yes. Yeah, you're doing great so far. But that's the thing. I... The last the creature had ever, like, interacted with Alarin was when she was brought in by the guards, and... I mean, I don't know the backstory of this creature. I don't even know what I'm it is. I'm a big shit that all eats I know smaller is that, shits. Um, all those masks are people, right? And they're like, okay, so... Yeah, people who suck. Yeah, so Burn? Uh, let's see. The congregation wasn't quite as satisfying as the priest himself, but lo, a new morsel and a companion invisible to my own eyes was laid before me by the oblivious captain. But when I was in my approach, when I was sneaking upon my prey in the rafters of the citadel, she suddenly disappeared. I was bereft with a sense of loss. No, how could it leave me so? But yet, after a time, I heard knocks and a call upon the door. And yes, there she was again, but with more companions, more fuel, more to feed my ever incessant... Hunger? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. <laughs> the <gorgulousness. laughs> That's the word I was trying to grasp for. <laughs> for a creature that desperately needs to feed it sure waited patiently for a week. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was about ten days. It's a long long time to just hang out here. <laughs> so and now no, that's good. my long wait. My time of starvation has ended. I will consume all. I like I like the idea of somebody goes up to the Blorbulus Glob and is like, hey dude, how's it going? And he just like goes on a long monologue talking about <laughs> how he hungers. And like the other I'm guys. I'm doing okay. Left. My favorite restaurant has closed down for the week as the chef has decided to take a vacation to visit his family. <laughs> <laughs> and he gives his so, opinion on not only the chef, the restaurant he works for, but also where he went. There's several other, like, <laughs> insignificant details. Yes. My car has run out of wiper fluid, but I'm seeing how long I can go without getting more. <laughs> it just squeezes back and forth and kind of smears it everywhere. <laughs> I've There's a little just... yellow indicator on the dashboard. I've I seen how sticking it. my head out the window and driving that way. Like he's been somehow, it somehow bothers my passengers more than me. They always ask me, Globulor, when are you going to replace your fluid? It only takes like 15 minutes. And I say every time I mean to do it, I always get distracted by Three's Company reruns on Nickelodeon at nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> He would say everything out, like, without any of the yes. abbreviations. Yes, the no, everything has to be intentionally elongated. <laughs> his favorite pastime is going on the thesaurus, like, uh. opening up a thesaurus and trying to expand his vocabulary. Literally. I acquire that from the memories of my food. <laughs> well, like no, it's, it's different instead of food, you'd say like sustenance and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like really that's... just trying to drag it out. <laughs> Good lord! Alrighty, so it's Shell's turn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh... I need to the video for a second. 
How would you all like to eat at Thank God It's Friday? <laughs> oh my god. Well, it's not going to be Fish Friday for you, sucker. What? That's what I say, right? <laughs> what is going on with my computer? That's this what I'm saying really to weird. Globular. That was like a weird case of like self-racism. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Well, it's, it's not going to be Fish Friday. I'm not going to be like, Globular's fish is not meal. on the menu. <laughs> But every time anyone calls you a fish, you're like, hey! <laughs> only I get to call... Only my <laughs> people get to call each other fish. That's our word! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anyway, so... it's Elorin's turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Elorin. Uh, Sorry. Can you paint the scene for us? There's a tree protruding from yeah. the earth. Okay, so... Uh, last, last time, more directly, what happened was uh, you had chucked the explosive onto the wall. Yes, and, and Skitter then, detonated it. Uh, no, Skitter didn't do anything. He didn't have the wand of detonation. Oh, really? But I thought well, that he no, threw a dagger I, at it. No. So what happened was Drez had uh, chucked a tree token to, like, pin the thing in. Yeah. Um, and it kind of worked, but mostly it just made the thing, uh, like, stretch up a little bit. Which, uh, but then made it was it, in within the blast yeah, radius. Yeah, made it uh, s suck up the uh, explosive. So now there's kind of like a, a smoking, gooey uh, top pus pustule looking thing for its head, face. Uh, and it's wiped out a number of the masks and stuff like that. And the eye is gone. Uh, oh, the eye is gone? Yes. Uh, I don't actually know how much HP this thing is, has anymore. You we'll have just to... have to play it by ear. <laughs> But you have your notebook right there. Well, we're like probably what halfway through the fight, just to s s cut it in half. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? We'll figure it out. <laughs> you could, you could just not admit that you don't know all the points. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not worried about it. You guys can deal with it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Alaren, it is actually your turn. Mm. How smart is this thing? Because I could try to see if it will laugh. Meh. Mm. That'd be weird. Whoa. I can't, I oh, can't no. make... I, I mean, it's you've not already smart enough. You've already made a train laugh. Yeah. A, a train spirit entity thing? I mean, it would be interesting. It's just that if it does get hit again, which is what we're probably going to do, then it will... Uh, uh, let's see. I will... <laughs> I mean, it didn't laugh at the voice we gave it, so I think it's just offended at this point. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I think I have enough enough spells for this. I'm I'm going to do Shatter again on it. Three die eight thunder. Wait, isn't this one immune to thunder damage, or what was that a different one? You don't know. Oh. Okay. Because if I can shatter more of those masks, that would be good. And it has to make a constitution savings throw. And if it succeeds, it takes half. Ah! The first was a one and the second was an eight. Okay, it very much succeeds. Did I have it on? Oh, there's the HP. Okay, cool. Okay. My problem is I've got four different notebooks next to me, and I don't know which ones have this, the uh, the health. Okay. Let's just go to the next page. At this point, it's just word mess, or number mess. Now that I, I think about it, if someone just threw a dagger or something into that mass, it would probably be a good way to use heat metal. Okay. But eh. So we should so use chat. So, it... Actually, somehow manages to kind of blurp out of the way. Oh, well, then it takes half damage. No, well, more so it rolled a nat 20. Not oh. really sure how that works with oh. uh, AoE effects, but I'm going to count that as just full of, full avoidance for everyone. Huh. I don't think we've ever actually had to deal with that before. I think everybody just nat 20s, they're like attacks, but I don't think we've ever had a nat 20 save. Because it would have been like a area this big. Okay, here he'll take he'll take damage, but let's uh let's put that in there. I thought he couldn't there. move out of the way because of the tree. He managed to blorp it, but he still <laughs> takes damage. But it's twenties. You yeah. never know. 
Okay, so let's uh let's see. Next one on the list is uh Dimitri. Oh a world of options. What Wait, can I ever possibly do? It's just cheers? so many things that I can do at any time. Uh reroll that damage. Uh, well then. <laughs> <laughs> For the audio listeners, Bird rolled a 19 first, and then a 19 second, but... <laughs> well, Alright. <laughs> you, uh... You cleave through it. Oh. Del, didn't you say that was a constitution save, or were you, or were you thinking a lot about a different spell? No, this was constitution. That makes more sense, then. Because that's not about dodging. That's a re reflex saves or dodging. Constitution is literally just you, your body bears it. Withstands it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Like when, oh, I, okay. when I do a poison puff in someone's face, that's a constitution save. Mm -hmm. I'm poo poo for poison puffs. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank uh, you for giggling. Drez, it is now your turn. More lightning after I find the button, which is right here. Yay! Okay. I did a lightning on its face or other <laughs> whatever I want to call the, the parts faces. of the body that it hits, honestly. Hmm. It's a little hard to tell. Alright, uh, I'm in GM rolling mode, but he rolled a natural one with a minus two. He's at a negative one. That's oh, incredible. no. Way. Um, that's that's mind-blowing. So, like, did I just, like, microwave him? <laughs> yeah, well, remember, you're still on <laughs> space laser mode because you're firing at it with a vortex. It was, like, the energy vortex up above. Oh, right. Yeah. So describe the lightning as it courses through I mean, its effectively, gelatinous form. I mean, effectively, it looks like uh, an actual, like, not just, like, a, a ray gun from space, but that was, like... At this point, I imagine I use, I use call lightning and then it just cuts to the explosion of Alderaan. <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll go with that. We will go we with that. Dumbass ring you all fly about out Alderaan. like <laughs> She'll just has bad flashbacks. Ah! <laughs> all right. So now it's... I guess the question becomes like Flash if US history is in the world of this game. Nom. If US history is in the world of uh, Grave of Man as like a fantasy novel. Is Star Wars fantasy or like you... actually canonical history? <laughs> uh, I I think Dimitri is aware of Star Wars and it's like greater historical significance, uh, but the <coughs> book didn't go over what uh, Star Wars was or anything like that. I see. So it did happen, but it happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Correct. So it has no actual bearing on the events that are holding out today. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Understood. I'll file this along with the fire-breathing cows as the weirdest damn lore I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The weird thing is, like, I can see how the fire-breathing cows can come up as a Chekhov's gun situation. I don't see how Star Wars is going to come up. <laughs> Nah, it just allows me More to bad. reference something that everyone understands, right? <laughs> all right. There... <laughs> My is... Has Bert even seen all the Star Wars movies? No, not the prequels. <laughs> I have only seen the original trilogies. Probably for the best. Make a reflex. <laughs> I would agree. Oh. All the prequels are garbage, including Rogue One. Any quote, I, I believe like it is... Um... Bert, Bert, it is a reflex save from you. Oh, I have to do something? Yes. Oh, because it's exploding? Uh, the tree is in the way, so it's not going for Drez. And... Oh, it's attempting to hurt me. I see. Yeah. Ow. I you see. just... You, uh... Oh, uh... well, that's not going to... Okay, so what happens is it more or less just brings itself down on you like a hammer. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move it down. <laughs> A little bit, so you're obvious in there. I should have made this thing see-through. That actually would have worked really well. Oh, yeah, like the water elementals. Jelly hammer. Yeah. Um, let me see. Did I write down how much damage this thing normally does when it hits you? Nope. Uh, <laughs> my notes are all over the place, and I'm not... We I've mostly been making, making sure that I have the, uh, the appropriate... Okay, you take nine damage. Wow. You're a lucky goose. Wow, I am... Oh no. Oh no! What? No, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> yep. Uh, so you get... You get smashled. Uh, more importantly, you're now inside the thing. And... 
All the better to stab it with. But it is Gitter's turn. Uh, let's see. So... It is like Wolf and I am Little Red Riding Hood. Except I'm Little Red Riding Hood with Kalashnikov. <laughs> okay. Bird? Um, make another reflex save. Skitter, you asshole. <laughs> Don't throw them at me. Uh-oh. That okay. has plus three. <laughs> no, uh... And a 1d4. If Bird's death curse spread to the point where Skitter's accidentally killing him, then at the point, like... No, he's so like, you do... You do see Skitter try and uh, actually aim for Dimitri, but... Uh, between the two of them, uh, it kind of, like, misses. Uh, Excuse but he does do. me? So, he's, uh, the, from within the, uh, slime, what you see is the hammer kind of splat the exterior, uh, a couple feet away from you, and you're hit by, like, a concussive force Whoa. that moves you closer to the other side, but you don't manage oh. to, like, get out from it. If that's, if that makes sense. Skitter, you asshole! No, he can't hear me. Right now, he just no. like... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and it is now Lauren's turn. My turn. All right. Well... I don't believe I have any other tricks up my sleeve, so I am going to stab it with my extendo rapier. More like stab Greg with your extended rapier. All right. Well, I can aim. You whiff it pretty bad. <laughs> I can aim. You whiff it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having a good time tonight. <laughs> oh. With the good. Okay. Uh, Dimitri. Uh, so, Dimitri, you are having trouble moving. You are inside. Have you ever tried swimming in Jello? Uh, no, he's of not that yeah, not. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not easy. Uh, so you're gonna have to make a strength check. Well, Damn. Wow. attack as normal. You 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 are capable of swimming in Jello. Apparently, you're gonna burst forth. All right, you you do uh, significant harm on it. From the inside. The idea uh, of the entire see. body being encased inside the creature and swinging an axe just raises new questions about how damage works on the slime. <laughs> I'm just hitting its internal organelles. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> but he brought you in on purpose, so I'm like, what? Yes, for digestive stuff. So he can use his, like, cyanobacteria on me. But then yep. I just uh, hit him right in the midichlorians, and then who's fucking on top? You mean mitochondria. One of these days, one I know of the what I is going to be made of something actually harmful. <laughs> like, instead of jello, it'll be, like, cyanide. Oh, no, this is actually <laughs> harm harmful. Bird takes seven damage for just being inside the thing. You didn't say that part. It just happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, it hurts. You're surprised. You're not used to hurting uh, as a robot man. He's not anyway, used to being a robot man. <laughs> Drez, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, you have officially taken your uh, your first couple points of damage as a robot man, I think. Oh, wow. Um, I've only been a robot man for, like, two hours. So. Yeah. This is the first fight after becoming a robot, so of course I take damage. <laughs> well, I am going to spend my turn trying to thornlessly whip Greg out of his freaking case. Mm -hmm. Greg's pretty far away. You think you can do that? It has a 30-foot range. I mean, he's like, you don't even know where Greg is. Isn't he transparent? <laughs> There is no Greg, there's only Dimitri. <laughs> Dimitri, no. We're doing jokes. <laughs> I'm gonna let you try it. If you manage, I'll be surprised. You smart that would, asshole. That would, really fuck up. <laughs> that would really fuck with the uh, continuity of the story. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> Turns out Greg boss fight is now. <laughs> <laughs> I ripped him out of the other page of Wander's Notes. <laughs> Nat 20. It's I like mean, my Star Wars knowledge, except I can reach out of the page like Deadpool. I, I think of our roles today, ha well, no, a ridiculous portion have been nat 1, well, one nat 1, a lot of nat 20s, 
Anyway, uh, so you're going to have Oops. to make a, a dexterity check to try and get him. Because okay. it's hard. Otherwise, you just hit the slime. Okay. Uh, now, remind me again, the thorn whip, you have to roll to hit as well, correct? Um, let's see. It has an attack roll. Yeah, that then you have raises to... its own confusing question because that's for when you're attacking somebody as opposed yeah, to... Yeah, so you're effectively attacking the slime and hoping you can cut through it to grab Dimitri inside. Sure. Okay. Wow, that's an incredibly bad yeah. roll. Yeah, no. You toss the thorn whip <laughs> through the air. It kind of lands at the, on the ground. Well, it's a good thing that's not an item I need. <laughs> <laughs> or even an item. Yep. Okay. And wow. it. That was so, a uh, Dimitri, you are brought kind of rapidly up through the creature to the top of it. <gasps> and then it is going to slam you against the um, the wall uh, and the tree and whatnot. So you're going to have to make a uh, dexterity check. Okay. Oh, no. Plus a D4, plus three. Okay. You take 22 damage for being concussed against a wall. Ah! Okay. Uh, 19. 19 damage for being concussed against a wall. Okay. And Skitter's turn. Uh, let's see. Make another dex check. Okay. I shouldn't have just closed the window. Is there something wrong? I've got I'm... nines every time. <laughs> nine? <laughs> nine? Nine? No, um... Number nine? <laughs> okay. Number That's nine? a Simpsons reference. I can't yeah. do burps on command. So once again, you are you are jiggle-wiggled inside the slime thing, but uh, you are not freed. Uh, Lauren, it's your turn. Let's see. So this is... Is it of the purple woogly woogly variety of the necroworms or no? Uh, you don't know. You haven't exactly examined either for a particularly long time. Nah, nah, that's true. Because... Like if uh, you can make a arcana or maybe an insight check. All right. I'll, I'll try that. Let's see. Arcana. Nah. No. You don't know. Haven't looked at it enough. Okay. Well, I suppose we are in the midst of combat. Yes. Well, uh, another thing I can try is... I can... I'm going to... Squirt a little bit of that weird... What, what was it? It was a, that cleaning slime from the vomitorium. Well... You just have a slime in your inventory. Like, it's not just like a little bit of the cleaning slime. You just have a whole not quite sentient, not quite living slime in a jar. Can I set the slime to fight the slime? Uh, you could try pouring the one slime on the other slime. But that might just add to its sliminess. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to use the tower again. Okay. Oh, you're pulling out the taro, uh, the taro, the the tarot card, and just more or less towering it. All right, roll to hit it with uh, miscellaneous objects. Once I, again. I just feel like I'm I'm going to like reach into the box because the tarot card always returns to the box. Okay, we we already already yep. established that before, so I'm just going to be like, I summon the tower. <laughs> okay, roll to hit with the uh, tarot card. Okay. Time to do, 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 do. Is it going to be a die twenty? Uh, D20? yeah, yeah. It would be a dex dex check because oh, you're just dex. you're trying to throw the card. Okay. Unless you want to like jam it in there, uh, nah. hand first. May the heart of the cards be with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you you fling the card and you know it sails pretty well and lands inside the thing, and effectively inside the slime, a rickety wooden tower kind of manifests itself. <laughs> uh, dealing, I don't know, probably two die ten damage, if you want to roll that. 
Okay. Uh, and Dimitri, make another reflex save. <laughs> well, I was hoping that it would like go underneath him and lift him out of it or something. Okay, that's probably enough. You're now standing on a tower slightly above the <laughs> slime, which has a tower growing out of it. That was unusually creative. Yeah! <laughs> you also yeah. have a very clear view into the uh, the gatehouse uh, at about 10 feet away. Oh. All right. There Bodies were windows everywhere. there, but something broke them. Uh, no, it looks, it just kind of looks like uh, actually much of the uh, the top of the uh, small keep you're next to has kind of slowly been uh, lifted into the vortex above. So there's like rubble everywhere and like chunks missing. Cool. Anyway, it's like it's, a Dragon Force album. It's your turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I like jump down from tower and hold out the battle axe as I slide all the way down very epic <laughs> cool like and just like basically like I'm unzipping the uh, slime with X uh so yes that is going to require an acrobatics check on top of your normal attack okay that's if I fail this, I, I assume I go right back into slime. Yes. I, I, I give, uh, yeah, I, I give bonus damage for cool factor if you can manage it. <laughs> I can okay. sort of. That's okay, roll the hit. Three and the d4. Yeah, so roll, then... roll your d4 if you want to. Wait, what's the plus three from? Uh, aura. Oh, right. No. Oh, no, wait. This is a skill check. This is a skill well, check, not the savings throw. You're yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah so this is just the plus to default. Yeah. Yeah, if you got a plus three well, on everything, you, you would be ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Now roll the hit. Okay. So what you do is you leap off the tower, you extend your axe, and proceed to fall about 15 <laughs> feet uh, not connecting at any point during during the trip down, <laughs> and you land um, kind of unsatisfyingly on the ground next to the slime. Damn it! <laughs> for right, well, five, do I, five damage for falling, because that was a tall tower. Do I at least, like, land in the cool pose? Uh, mostly, yeah, you land on your feet. You've got your axe kind of pointed at the thing menacingly. Uh, all right. Um, actually, you get Rico one more pose? acrobatics. Uh, no, actually, you probably don't take damage uh, with that acrobatics check-ish. Yay. Yeah. No, you managed to avoid the fall damage. You just kind of land with a thud. <laughs> it was mostly Kong. just kind of an okay result. Could have been worse. Drez, it's your turn. Well, that's finally resolved, which means I can go back to plan A. After I remember what page it's on. There it is. <laughs> Lightning. <laughs> I have so okay. many spells. Space laser of unknown damage totals and stuff. Hooray. Yeah, th you, there are some serious holes uh, opened in this thing. So it is... Um, okay, that's its turn. It is going to, uh, it is going to charge for you and Skitter. Uh, and more or less just kind of fire itself forward like a, a giant Glorpy missile. Uh, roll a oh. dexterity savings throw. Oh. Oh. Okay. You and Skitter are now inside the uh, the blobby thing. You oh, both no! take... Uh, you take 17 damage for being hit really hard. Skitter is unconscious. Oh. Uh, let's see. Alaren, oh, it's your no. turn. Okay. It... How could Skitter be unconscious? When's he taking damage ever? Oh, you know wait, those... he got his ass handed to him last round. Yeah, That's he was right. getting hit really bad by lasers. Uh, That's and lightning. right. forgot about that. I am going to... Skitter took, took a lot of damage there. I'm going to try oh, Tasha's gosh. hideous laughter. Best case scenario, it's going to oh, no. jiggle its way into a fit that will... Uh, extricate our friends. Yeah, Skitter is very much unconscious. 
Oh no! That's okay. Anyway, so you're gonna you're gonna try and jiggle wiggle, uh, the slime creature. Yes. Okay. Hopefully, it will jiggle jiggle our friends out. Uh, um, so it has to make a wisdom saving throw or fall prone, becoming incapacitated and unable to stand. It fails and ejects everybody. <laughs> yeah! Yay! Skitter lands somewhere over here. Drez, <laughs> you're there. <laughs> Skitter so no, it's just jiggling with laughter. Yeah, no, it is It is in pure wiggle jiggle mode for, the, uh, for its <laughs> next turn. Life uh, is gross. Yep. Dimitri, it's your turn. Uh... What should I do? I should heal myself. There we go. Okay. Now remember, every turn it has to make a wisdom savings throw, and if we damage it, it gets an advantage. Oh. Well, alright. But it was mainly to get our friends out of there. Yes. Okay, so it gets a, a will savings throw every time you hit it? Yeah, and it gets advantage on Okay. Oh. Whoa. So it stops <laughs> laughing. Yeah, it stops laughing. This is a <laughs> roller coaster of results for this thing. A negative one, and then a uh, natural 20. Jesus, my rolls today have been scary. <laughs> um. Anyway, Drez. At first it was roll. like lol, then it was like serious. Yeah, this is an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Well, no, not Figure literally. It is good not a job. roller coaster. Yeah, it's literally job. emotional. Let's see if this still works. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Guy beam laser death isn't really actually panning out as much as you'd hope. Okay. It is... Oh, hey, you're all there. Everybody roll a reflex save. Oh no! Oh. Dex. <laughs> God oh. damn it! Okay. Uh, remember, you're all next to uh, you're all next to uh, Dimitri, so you all get a plus three on this one. Okay. So Dimitri and Drez, you fling yourselves out of the way, and Lauren, you are. <laughs> We're just all taking turns. She's you are... She has a one d four. Oh. Okay. Uh, Lauren? Oh, okay, so I do... Roll a 1d4. 1d4. Well, ah! That's okay, that's actually still enough. It was a 15. So you okay. managed to all dive out of the way uh, and <laughs> and avoid being blorped as it kind of charges back through again. And uh, it's Lauren. Your turn again. Now, is it being affected by the purple stuff it's standing in? No. Then what's the weird tendril well, coming out of? Uh, that used to be a tree. Oh. Okay. Gross. Yeah. I see. Uh. Okay. Is well, this floor I... is this floor difficult terrain? It's uh, it's kind of slick. Like when you dove out of the way, you kind of slid. Uh, it's pretty it's much just straight up glass. So it's not. Difficult terrain is it halves, halves your speed, but you get the feeling running on this would be a problem if not for your warp Jordans. Okay, so you I take it with my rapier. you take the chunk out of it, and that was actually the finishing blow. Ha! It you you, I guess, rip through its uh its membrane, and it just kind of goos out. Except for like it's kind of dry ice. As it like empties out onto the ground, it it disappears. Wait, so it didn't have to deal with the masks? I was imagining it like turning its its what used to be a like a visage of several masks. Suddenly, there's only one, and I stab it. No, actually, you've already you broke most of the masks with oh, the really? explosion earlier. Yeah, um, uh, the eye had disappeared, and the only mask left is the big one, which. Uh, as this thing kind of empties out into the air around you, uh, all that's left is like a little bit of kind of sooty residue and the mask uh, sitting uh, on top of it all. Okay. I I look at the mask. It It's the one that the priest was wearing, right? Correct. I'd say it looks back at you, but that might just be like a kind of trick of the light or just <gasps> the fact that it's fucking creepy. Hmm. I'm going to put it in my bag. Membrane. 
You're going to hang on to creepy death mask? It belonged to the priest. Plus, it might be useful. Oh, Maybe on. Vivi can identify as, it. As much fun as it is to uh, get loot from a monster, we probably need to wake Skipper up so I can yell at him for attempting to kill me. <laughs> yep. I go over, pick up Skitter, and I drag him, say, to give us some room over here. Which, uh, if he has broken neck, I did a very bad thing by doing that. All he, right, looks, he looks like he's mostly been charred more than anything else. I just okay. imagine you grab him by the leg and start dragging him, and then you just get, like, that loud, like, skin-on-glass squeaking noise. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> it is It is definitely like that 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 weird squealy noise that happens when you rub, <laughs> rub your hand on glass. Okay, well, um... There's, like, a trail of, like, spittle from his, like, open, his slack jaw. Let's see, let me remember. Uh, I'll just cast Cure on him. Uh, I have to actually cast Cure, I usually just use Lay on Hands. Uh, by Cure I mean Cure Wounds, of course. So mm -hmm. I need to actually look up <laughs> what the stats are for this. 1d8 plus Spellcaster modifier. Okay. Which is my Charisma, so 1d8 plus 3. There okay, he is at 6 HP. Uh-oh. I mean, I suppose I can use Cure Wounds on him, too. Eh? Uh, you're, you're more than welcome to. Okay. So what do you... So you're healing him. Okay, so he is... He is healed. Uh, but he is... He's still still pretty out of it, yeah. Yeah. He's kind of the halfway point between a player character and an NPC. So. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> he is our Stuart Griffin. So when you were atop uh, the tower, what did you see? Um, If you crane your neck, you can probably see most of what I was seeing. Right? The tower I is forget. still there, by the way. Oh, Wait. okay. Uh, no, it probably got knocked over when it did, uh, some of the charges. The yeah. tower's on the ground, though, with a reasonable strength check. You could probably get it propped right back up. Really? Yeah. What was it made uh, of? Wood. Like, rickety wood, but the slime oh, was, right, like, trying to crush it. Yeah. <gasps> Alright, uh, you get the tower back up. There you go. Tower done. Oh, so can we actually- Tower's act done. <laughs> So can we actually <laughs> crawl up it and into the uh, keep? We don't because the door is surely locked. Uh, um, right? we can probably use that. Yeah, if we uh, uh, we need we would need to find uh, some sort of window to prop it up against. Unfortunately, I don't think this can get us up to the parapets. But uh, uh, okay. I believe there was window right around corner. Yes. Yep. Mm hmm. Let's see. In, in my state, I'm going to use one of my large potions. I Yeah, I think I'm going to use a large potion, too. Fair warning, you guys might want to just, like, actually take a rest. Instead we of... Probably uh, all right. bring You're all fair. I will take... Probably, I'll take a DM fair that. warning. Let's just stick a full rest. This is this might not be the safest place to stop for eight hours. Uh, Well, do we remember where that secret house was? Um, no, it wasn't here, was it? It was in a glade, a clearing, off to the right, right? That was over by the, like, fountains and stuff, right? Yeah, it's kind of the midway point between where you guys are currently in that town. It's like a ten minute yeah. walk. Uh, if it's ten minutes away, then it's probably worth going to that locale. Sure. Okay. We should probably peace out before we start sleeping in the boss chamber. <laughs> Yeah. In front of a nightmare floating keep. And I okay. have control over Lauren. Oh, ah! <laughs> Woohoo! Hey! Uh, <laughs> oh, right. I, I had given you guys uh, control of her when we were figuring out the line of sight stuff. Okay. I don't have control over her. Oh, I just took it away. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I should have control over the still, but I don't have it. So you guys are... He's got a little bit more willpower now that he's not a little lizard. 
Oh, plus, uh, since I've been unconscious, I probably lost uh, total control over him. And by That's unconscious, you mean literally dead. Yeah, let's look all man, let's look all dead. All right, let's walk to that lead. Okay, so okay, I need to bring Skitter with us too. Yeah. Oh right. Uh, let's see. So... I forgot about the sentient little pet. I am not going to uh, do a map transition because nothing happens while you guys have your nice eight-hour rest. Okay. <laughs> um, unless you want me to switch there so you guys can talk to Skitter when he wakes up. What the hell do we talk to him for? Okay, fair enough. So I still uh, have a beard. <laughs> yeah, so Skitter, Skitter wakes up and he looks kind of grumpy and dour. This is actually the first time he's really sustained major damage over the course of this entire uh, yeah, campaign. Cool. Yeah. Um, so he actually doesn't really say much uh, as you guys more or less just walk back to the fort. He's uh, also upside down still. Yeah, I can I can change that. <laughs> uh, but as you guys reach the fort and not much has changed. Uh, you notice like the debris has moved. You know, things have shifted up a little bit more, but it looks like it's kind of a slow process. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Roll uh, Roll perception checks, I guess. Okay. Perception. Woo. Wow. Okay. We all did well. Huh. You, you all notice that there is a uh, kind of like some vines growing out of one of the windows to the right, out of the bushes. What? Vines? But wouldn't that mean druids? Yeah. Maybe. Oh. But yeah, so you Which... see them. Le and were they there before? Or we don't know. Uh, uh, you don't know. But here, I'll, I'll draw I have no where... trust in no other druid's vines. Tree toad and climbing. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we could probably just climb the tree if there's a window. So the vines are kind of like over here out of these bushes. Assuming they're that kind of hard have... to see. Wait, but they're coming out climbing. of the bushes? Yeah, they're out of the bushes and into the window. Okay, well, I'm going to peer in the bushes. Uh, you don't find anything immediate. Well, where do the vines originate from in the bushes? Uh, actually out of one of the bushes themselves, it kind of looked like the bush was repurposed, uh, somehow. Oh. Ah, I see. So they just use the existing bush to provide their vines. Yep. Tree climbing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also have the tower, too. The tower's not nearby. Well, That's it's around by this window. He'd help. Oh, did he move it next to the window? No. I thought he was. I thought, it, I thought it was like no. floating out in the middle of yeah, like several not, feet away. It's not near of anything good. It's it's like ten feet away, but you could easily make the jump if you really tried. Tower tower is like over here. Okay. Well, any hot, uh, Drez, you have probably a nice natural climbing ability. Can you find anything up there? Do I need to roll anything? Uh, no. No, with the, the with the tree and the broken window <laughs> and all the other stuff, you managed to... Oh, we already have a Drez token up here. That's convenient. Uh, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I'll have to change the line of sight because you're not, you're not there and... You can't see there. Old timey uh, dread shenanigans of yeah. pain, pain, pain. Those are oh, some right. weird drawings. <laughs> yeah, because I was tr we were trying to <laughs> explain what the hell is going on here. So you find yourself <laughs> in a a quiet room. It looks like uh, looks like somebody uh, kind of like huh. a room that uh, somebody would sleep in, like a guard maybe. Uh, to but me, it, it is, looks like Therese is, is in empty. a black cave at midnight, surrounded by black bears. Oh, there mm. it goes. Yep. Yeah, so you're you're in here. Someone misses being furry. And you... Yes. You can Mysterious kind of diary! Da down below. So it's a... Uh, it's not actually really that much interesting in there. Uh, it's a, uh, a gatekeeper's kind of log. Talking about, like, who comes and goes and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, not, nothing, like, super lore-intensive from what you can see in a cursory look over. And judging from its cover, it looks like they saw Drez as a snake. It's the same <laughs> It's the same journal asset I've been using every time, so do not judge the, the book by its oh cover. Oh my god, everyone saw Drez as a snake. 
I am the worst snake stealth door opener ever, except for the part where I totally open doors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get that. You'll toot your own horn. It's a room. <laughs> I assume you're yelling at that window. Yeah. Window. Most useful explanation ever. Well, what's in it? It's got some walls and some ce one ceiling. There uh, is there doors? Can you open door? Let's find out. Okay. So you try the door and it does open. And you find and yourself see... in a gatehouse, actually kind of similar to the one that you uh, you had seen uh, previously uh, in the main keep, ish. Uh, it, but it's filled with rubble and kind of destruction. Uh, part of the ceiling kind of caved in, uh, and part of the ceiling just kind of left for the skies. It's a bit inconsistent. Uh, I cannot it, see it. Uh, you can't. Nope. You probably haven't made it visible yet. Huh. Okay. I swear I just made it visible. Now, can we crop the tree too? Let me, or? let me see if there's stupid line of sight stuff. I guess we'll have be. to do a dexterity check and find out. Please. Oh. There it goes. I, I like <laughs> okay. fall off the first branch. I'm not sure how you there got to see There are trees them. in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would actually technically have disadvantage, I would think. Oh, yeah. I guess I did actually have this map set you up ever for seen dynamic that fish lighting. climb a tree? Oh, that's fine. We'll live. Is this like an Einstein thing? No, okay. this is actually a fish climbing a tree right now. Uh. Okay, Life so... imitates fiction. I mean, I have shit. legs, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, Alarin <laughs> and Dimitri, um, you guys make it up into the room. It's, I mean... After a couple more tries. Yeah. How many how many times have I fallen to the ground? Oh, would 17 Yeah, it, it, it takes the second try. Uh, After you, several you, consequence free failures. You've you've discovered the climbing trees is not nearly as easy as squirrels make it look. And uh <laughs> Damn it. Dimitri, he, you discover much the same thing. He probably just <laughs> broke a branch or two, being made huh. out of metal and all. Honestly, it looked I thought kind of more like from swimming in the ocean to climbing trees took longer than that. Uh it, it as far as Dimitri's progress in climbing, it almost looks more like he's punching the tower instead of actually climbing it. But eventually he manages <laughs> it, uh, to subdue it long enough to get up there. Rampage world tour. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Psh, I immediately rush for the journal. <laughs> Character and knowledge. I like it. So, like I uh, like I had said with, with Drez, it is a... Uh, a gatekeeper's log talking about comings and goings of various people through the keep. And what the were table. some of the what were some of the later entries? Uh, let's see. So some of the later entries, uh, a number of them talk about uh, you like, know it's pre preferably before the fall and then during and after the fall. Okay, so they are all as far as your general knowledge of dates and times with Zagnoth, they're all pre-fall. Uh, oh. That they all kind of stopped around the same time uh maybe uh this one has more accurate dates it seems like it was about f three months ago four months ago oh and, uh, and who the were the entry. final visitors because that could be telling how did the necromancer plant his uh stone so the, atop uh, the tower and everything the final entries were uh a lot of a lot of guards coming and going basic uh but the name uh lord hector comes in uh and out several times. Lord the, Hector. Over the course of it. He'll he be really be overpowered nice. early game, but it'll really just trail off mid game. <laughs> he must have had something to do Crickets. with this, but I don't know if we would encounter anyone who would be knowledgeable of Hector and his role in all this. I punched the table. Uh, uh, that is not a table, that, by the way. That is a gatehouse wheel. Oh, uh, I punched this, yeah. punch this table. Okay, you punch the table. <laughs> it crumbles. Yay. Ah. Preemptive defeat. Oh, wait. Hey. <laughs> it's uh, like when you stab zombies in the head. <laughs> hey, Dimitri. Why don't you yes. turn that wheel and I turn this wheel? Oh, that's a smart idea. Eh. Uh, do I have to do which strength? direction should I turn it? 
Walk and... wise or counterclock? Uh, let's do it counterclockwise. Okay. Or maybe let's look at the, the way that the chain wraps around it. These wrap around chains, right? Yes. Okay. So the chain goes this way and this way. Alrighty. So I let's, should let's rotate mine them. counterclockwise and you should rotate yours clockwise. Actually, yeah, yeah, that, that would be good. We want to wind the chains around them. Okay. Yes. Uh, so after a little bit of coordination, you uh, you manage to uh, push the wheels and the uh, there is a, a loud kind of clunk downstairs. Downstairs? Well, huh. good thing we're up here. We is. can't get there. <laughs> well, wait. I thought the... Oh, right. We did go upstairs. Yeah, you, you're I on the second floor. floor. You're just opening the door you already knew about. Yeah. Open says to buy me. I open door. Okay, you find a small storeroom. It's got a couple of boxes and barrels in it. it smells uh, kind of rancid. Ew. I will do what you always do when you enter the room. Okay. Criti also, does uh, critically us? fail at at checking boxes and then hiding in them. No. Uh, Skitter is. Uh, Skitter is still downstairs. Last you saw. Uh, so you, um, you find a lot of rancid looking food. Um, it kind of looks, uh, similar to food you've seen in the past. Ew. You mean three month old food? Uh, three month old food that, you know, may or may not be poisoned. Hmm. That's a blast from the past. Yeah. So I wonder if there were the druids indiscriminate in giving poison to the entire populace. I'm surprised there was no protected party or person in the city. Someone had it, to help them smuggle it in. <laughs> when it comes to poisoning people via food, you can't really be all that discriminatory, I guess. All right. Uh. Well, I guess well, I'll leave that room. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we got the doors open at the very least. We can go to the rubble. lower level. Okay, so the rubble is pretty substantial. I mean, it looks like a uh, large support head caved in. Okay, you give up. Yes. We. Okay, so you leap out of the. You leap out of. The I tower. climb out, not idiot. Okay. <laughs> I, I go branch for branch down. There we go. Yeah, just because, just because, to be fair. There we go. That's off. God damn it. That's okay, for being so you, charitable. you land, uh, you land uh, heroically on your face. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, and you guys are Base back at the bottom good. of the tower. Was 13 good enough, or did I, yeah. like, trip the last I mean, last for branch? the most part, you don't even need to roll, but because Bird got a uh, natural one, he lands... Uh, he lands very comically. <laughs> like riding a bike? Uh, check doors. Okay, the doors are, the doors are yesterday. open. So you can... Nice! You can see inside them. Yay. There is, uh, kind of a small entry, entry area and then another <laughs> set of doors. Uh, though, I guess actually, these doors have kind of been blown open. Whoa. Uh, it looks like something maybe like kind of crashed its way through them. Well, the the ooze, the globulor slithered its way out. So well, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yep. Uh, they look partially dissolved. So you guys uh, can see into what looks like a, a big hall uh, with like uh, one of those like radial staircases with a nice what might have once been nice carpeting. But either because of the slime or other things, ah, hiccups. It is, uh, it is looking pretty worse for the wear. Now I remember being brought through here before. Yes, so you you've been here. Uh, so you actually you actually remember much of this hall. However, you don't remember a couple of things. Uh, for starters, there's actually a really loud, like, kind of concussive pounding noise. Uh oh. Uh, that you can hear, and it's it's rhythmic. 
but screechingly so. It's it sounds like something broke <laughs> and Hot is smashing. Dog. Yeehaw! Uh, let's see. But you have uh, four doors that you have not open to the south, and uh, two doors up north. Uh, and as you're looking at the two doors up north, you see uh, what looks like a giant stone block just come kind of awkwardly crashing down into the floor <gasps> and then slowly raise back up again. Whoa. Whoa. A trap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does it have little eyes on it? <laughs> no, there are no eyes. Uh, just some elaborate looking machinery. That Let's Aaron try door number kind of one, because I don't want to think about the existential crisis that the sentient stone seems to be proposing. Uh, the door is locked. Shit. Can I try Shit, any man. of the keys that I have? What keys do I have? Can I ask it politely? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Da, 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 what do you da, mean da, I can't persuasion check a door? <laughs> No, I only have the Squid Mage's key. Yeah. But I can try it. Do any of the keys work? No. None of the keys that you currently have on you uh, work with this store. Skitter! You realize for the first time since you uh, climbed back out of the tower, Skitter's actually not around. He is not with you guys. Skitter! Skitter, where are you? Oh. That took a surprisingly long time to happen. I Yeah. I hope it wasn't because he had been brought so close to death that he didn't reconsider his uh his adventuring with us. I'm confused. I thought goblins took such a cavalier attitude towards living and dying that I didn't think that him coming that close to death would really uh impact him that deeply. But well, yeah. Well, his perception of the world had started changing. He he started believing that that it wasn't his his destiny to live and die with Gorlar and his gang and such. And maybe was, they wasn't the only trait difference. that separated him from all the other goblins in his group that he was a coward. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, as I said, maybe having been faced with death, he started to realize just how dangerous this had become. I don't know. Yes, uh, uh, clearly I, we've I'll all faced the... death multiple times in this, uh, in this one. Uh, I, Dimitri, I tried how many using... times? I mean, oh, oh right. sorry. I, I was just going to try no, to use Dimitri. the sending stone. So... <laughs> uh, yeah, go for it. Use stone. Uh, Skitter? Skitter, are you there? Uh, yeah. Are you alright? Where just, are you? Uh, I'm, I'm about. I'm, I'm around, I guess. Is there something that we need to talk about? I, I just, <laughs> I, this is a weird feeling. No one has ever asked me my feelings before on pretty much anything, but. Well, I did try to talk with you way back when we had to fight those goblins in the warehouse district. No, that, you're right. That's true. You, uh, correction, you are the only person that has ever asked my feelings on anything. And it is, it's, it's still kind of weird. I'm just, I don't know. I've been having a, cu a rough couple of weeks now. I mean, it should be obvious. All my, all my clan gets killed. My captors uh, kidnap me and uh, force me to work for them. And I mean, I will admit, you guys are really well. No, you're really nice. The other two are kind of mean. <gasps> and like, I mean, I'm used to it, but I'm also like, kind of going through a renaissance of like self confidence and stuff. And I was thinking, you know, maybe I could kind of just be on my own for a bit you know but wait that was an option <laughs> 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 not for you Drez you're sticking alone with me time, my steed alone time Drez gets magical chariot to pull him back into the story I'm like no <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what don't about you ever forget and, you're my and horse saving Zagnoth and I mean oh, come on I'm, computer sorry I I'm a goblin, crazy like, problems. saving cities is not, it, raiding cities isn't our, our, our skill set. Saving them is something completely different. And, like, you guys seem willing to do it for some reason, but, I mean, I just almost died. And I, I get that that's kind of part of the business, but that's, 
you don't just almost die as a goblin. That it it's usually a binary thing. You're alive or you're dead. The the you know, getting knocked out and stuff like that is well, it's upsetting. It is very upsetting, Skitter, but you have to remember the reason why uh individuals like Greg, well Dimitri Greg, have been able to survive this long is because they had friends. Survive. Among- Amongst the goblins. The reason he's been able to survive this long is because he keeps dying and inhabiting new bodies. He's terrible at it. Well, hey, we've, re- we've revived him plenty, okay? Yeah, but I'm, <laughs> no, no, but here... I'm not Dimitri. We didn't revive Greg. Greg's gone. That was because we were separated. You see, when, when we are with others that but... we care about, we are stronger for it. And if one of us falls, another will be there to pick them up. But that's what I'm doing. I'm looking for Greg. You're looking for Greg? Well, this is where he went missing, right? Uh, Dimitri was kind of tight-lipped about the whole thing, but this is where he disappeared. He said he was thrown into a portal by uh, Gorlar. Yeah, and I'm going to find him. Oh, so in a way you're leaving so that you can find one of our friends so that he isn't abandoned? Maybe. I mean, I I like you. You're you're nice. But Dimitri and Drez, like, they don't care about me. They don't. And, like, Greg, I think he cared in his own way. And I want to get him back. We all want to get him back. But, hmm... I suppose we just needed to find a way to get to him. Even Vivi couldn't sense him from beyond the veil. Yeah. Yeah. I just... I don't know. It's... Whenever we're together as a full party, I just... I feel like I'm... I'm just a ghost that does what you guys say. And, you know, whenever... Whenever I do something cool, I usually just get yelled at for it. Or ignored. When you do something cool? Yeah. I mean, sometimes it doesn't work out, but I just, I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm part of the group. Well, I do admit, we do use you to unlock doors, and that's actually why we're going to summon you now. And you were instrumental in finding out about the Dwarven language and and Brungren's books and... Uh, I mean, I suppose we did expect too much from you, and you've received so little appreciation in return. Hmm. I'm sorry, Skitter. Make a persuasion check. A persuasion check? Okay. Do, do, do. Where is persuasion on this? All right. You have convinced him. <laughs> so Skitter actually emerges from... Uh, you see a sliding door open up in one of the walls. And he uh, kind of comes out of it. How did you find that? I found out about it before we had to leave. And then I just didn't tell anybody because it didn't matter. And then it probably still didn't matter. But I figured if I was going to make a getaway... It was probably the best way I could do it. Uh, well, thank you for coming out, Skitter. I... I promise you, we will treat you better. After all, you're one of the group. And without you, we wouldn't have been able to come this far. Thanks. Also, about Greg, we're definitely going to find him. Part of us investigating these buildings is to try to get closer to how exactly Gorlar created a kind of portal in the first place. We don't know if it's the druids or this Hector individual that I was reading about in there who may or not may not be the lich or what all this is, but all these people, they perished because someone didn't intervene. Someone didn't care about them. Others wanted to harm them. And if we can prevent more people from suffering, even at the risk of our own lives, then so be it, but at least we'll have tried. And we we can find Greg. That'll definitely be one of our priorities. After oh. all, he served as a body for Dimitri so long, and uh, he was a good friend. 
Yeah, he was. Well, you said you had a door you wanted me to open? Oh, yeah. It, it's in here. Okay. I have uh, done a strength check of 22 against door. Yeah, the door is very much open. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can, okay, can I already be in here going through the Professor <laughs> Chess when he shows up? <laughs> that's the that's the best possible outcome. <laughs> oh, Skitter! No, we're just already opening oh, yeah. the chest and shit. Oh, I can't find anything. Skitter! <laughs> yeah, I so... need you to perception. <laughs> <laughs> really, more what happens is you have the chest upside down and you're like shaking it. And there's like <laughs> clinking noises because it's locked, but you can't figure out why it's locked or how it's locked. You just can't open the chest conventionally, and it's kind of beyond you. Jez, you figured out that uh, Dimitri is once again a moron. <laughs> I will do nothing. <laughs> I will react by doing nothing about this. <laughs> well, oh, hey, Skitter. No, where'd you go? I think there's another locked door in there. I mean, he oh, may have brute force his way in, but you have the skill. I, I guess... I come over, over to him carrying the treasure chest. Hey, hey, where are you going? <laughs> hey, here you go. And I put it down in front of him. <laughs> uh, let's see. So Skitter <laughs> pops open the uh, the locked door, goes inside, and then shuts it behind him, ignoring the chest. Oh, Skitter. This whole Let's Play has like a Skitter confidence meter in the corner. <laughs> It also has a skitter is done with your shit meter, which is currently <laughs> past max. Anything in the chest? It is. Well, he didn't open the chest. It's still sitting on the ground where he left it. That, I did perception check to all oh. the looking chest. Uh, well, it's closed, so you know that something jangled. Uh, I open the chest and then do a perception check. It's, it's very locked. I thought he did thing. No, he opened the he opened the locked door. Oh. He went into the other room. He said just, he opened up. I thought he opened no, up. Just left. Chest. No, he No, he opened he, up emotionally to Lauren. Yeah. Oh. He opened up the uh the other locked door and then went in there because He opened up the locked door of his heart, I understand. <laughs> ah, alright, I guess he found treasure in there. Cool stuff. How about this door? I attempt to open it. Uh, it opens. That was an interaction between the Keyblade and the literal Heartless. <laughs> Bloop. Hey! Okay. Uh, let's see. You found probably poopy smelly boxes. Oh wait, no. <laughs> you didn't go in that. Hooray. Whatever. Anyway, you find a bunch of boxes. So, uh, yeah, Drez, you are, you're just there. Okay, so what is, what is in these rooms? Old keep ground floor. Okay, so the third has, uh, it's just mostly junk in there. Just boxes. Old poopy boxes. <laughs> Old poopy boxes. Open the boxes. Okay. Guys? Yeah, what's up? Skitter's I'm going still to really... shillelagh strike the box. Okay. It <laughs> is It is a tough chest. Your shillelagh uh, reverberates in your hand and it kind of hurts. Skitter really oh, misses magic. Greg. He misses Greg? That's a mistake. I mean... I don't know how much you remember of it, Dimitri, but back when we initially stumbled upon Skitter and his goblin gang, well, goblin and kobolds, I suppose, uh, when they attacked us and he was the only one left to remain, we sort of, I, it was some kind of agreement. We offered to spare his life if he would help us around. And as time went on, we all sort of became a group of friends, and Greg especially was very endearing to him. Or endeared to him, I should say. But with Greg gone, lately he's been feeling like 
He's been underappreciated for his for his assistance. And huh. he was actually going to leave us to, to pursue Greg on his own, even if it meant going to that portal. Do you remember anything of what happened? And, oh, I don't know. I think he his feelings may have been hurt because I convinced him to come back to us and then and then the task that we were going to set for him was already completed. Not that you would have known. In spectacular fashion. <laughs> oh. I I think I get it. I mean, I was there for all of that, so I mean I think you... that um, Greg felt a certain fondness for uh, Skitter because, I mean, bugbears and goblins, they, uh, they share a certain kinship. Tell you what, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna try something. Greg was an idiot whose plans kill you. But they were sort of the same person for a time. It, it, is it possible that I Dimitri... knock on the door and I say, Skitter! I'm sorry. I learned the hard way not to babysit Greg anymore. That is literally the first time anyone has said that to me. I thought I just did. Well, anybody that, like, was mean to me. You don't need to I'm say I'm not sorry. sorry. I know you're not. You have no emotions. <laughs> So Not so being open. sorry is an emotion. <laughs> um, I don't really want to drag this out too much longer, but uh, if it means that much to you, Skitter, um, I will be more appreciative of who you are and what you do from now on, okay? You do, you're a great service to the team. You, uh, you're probably ten times more productive than most of us. So uh, That's... thank you for carrying us. Vaguely passable. Just, I know I'm a goblin and like one of the lesser races, but I I have feelings too, you know. By the way, I got this chest open. It's got cool shit in it. Nice. He pulls out like a broken ass looking harp. <gasps> oh. <laughs> a harp. Um. There we go. <laughs> May I look at it? It is. It is a a lyre that has like four strings, maybe. I mean, traditional ones only have up to seven. So. Yeah, so it's missing a couple. Now, is there something special about it? Is it magical in nature? Uh, yeah. It's. I mean, apart from being broken, it's a. Uh, oh shoot. Well, what's broken? Somebody about sent it? this to me. Well, I mean, it's missing strings. Um, but it's called the lyre of soothing, and oh. uh, it helps with like healing spells and stuff oh well i have a liar i mean admittedly it's an old one but i could probably replace the strings on it with the strings from my old liar oh i that's on you i don't know musical instruments here you go all right i will replace the strings that it requires nice to reveal of the hidden door to their wander <laughs> yes <laughs> so, uh, you also notice, uh, there's a, there's a hidden door that is, uh, partially ajar that Skitter has not messed with yet. Let's see. Uh, so, what do you guys do? Eh? Uh, I can be, uh, reach the door. Well, I, I don't even know if I have knowledge of door. Yeah, no, you can see it. Like okay. it's effectively Roll a knowledge door check. <laughs> there is a there's like a really awkward like kind of gap here. Like the door has been swung in a little bit. Oh, and it looks like something had passed through. Mm hmm. Uh, this door is kind of really awkward. You can see a little bit. Do of I a... fix the door? Uh, do you close oh. it, or...? No, I attempt to remove it from hinges. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> just ripped the door off. It did I not take much that, effort. I put it over in corner. There we go, That's that should be easier for getting through now. Yeah, so you now have access to some kind of secret passage. Who wants to, uh, who wants well, to go through loud. first? 
Any any takers? Anyone want to be brave little pioneer? All right. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've just been strumming a little bit on the harp a tad. Okay. Oh, this one actually sounds really nice. Yep. Uh, let's see. So I have to put something down, then I'll... Ugh, I got to delete some assets here. There's a lot to scroll through. So it is... What the... Where is he? Okay, there he is. It's not the same um, guy, but when you enter the uh, secret passage, you see a dead uh, a dead guy. Ah. Kind of in a heap. I just want to point out that like Skitter was literally harping on and then got a harp. <laughs> Wait, so these vines, they could have been his. You don't know. There's a lot of blood though. So this isn't the same like wood guy. I just don't have a generic druid uh yet. Ah. Because oh. I've been focused on other things. So this is a real druid. Yeah, so this is a real dead druid. And how how recent is this? Uh, you don't know. The blood looks, like, dried, but not that dry. And he's most definitely dead? Oh, yeah. What What are the nature of his wounds? Uh, it looks like medicine. a lot of claw marks. <gasps> Claws? Yeah, it kind of looks like somebody uh ripped him apart. What kind of creature would do this? Are there any, like... Footprints, paw prints in the in the no, blood? It actually looks like he kind of uh he managed to make it here before dying. So like you could see some of the traces. He was the one that opened the door and crawled back in here, but he didn't manage to uh save himself beyond that. So where was he attacked? You mean he crawled up into the window, then into this hall and died? You don't know. Uh the traces don't uh start immediately. And none of huh. you are skilled enough in tracking to really know. Is the druid recognizable? Uh, apart from the fact that he's got reclaimer robes on, uh, which you've started to recognize, uh, nothing about him is recognizable. Like, not his face or not his anything. Hmm. What a grisly end. Yes, uh, well, hope that that doesn't happen to us. Eh, we'll be fine. <laughs> They've shrugged okay. off a hell of a lot worse. Uh, I mean, we faced undead and, and slimes, but I don't believe either would do this kind of damage. Well, maybe undead would. Alright, around the corner. Okay, so down the corner, uh, you see... A staircase leading downwards. Whoa. Mm. And what's at the other end of the hall? It turns. Well, should we well, see where this passage leads or go down? I think uh, going down probably would... Uh... Nah, I don't think it's worth our time. This... Well, Passageway is extremely long. Jeez. <laughs> I wonder if it goes around the in the entire wall, like the outer perimeter of the wall. It does. My understanding is that if we went down, we would wind up in the aqua, like the 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 not the aqueducts, the uh, the viaducts, like the flooded out areas. And Actually, we've already been to that area. The stairs just go like it's a short tunnel. It doesn't it doesn't bring us back down there. At least not that I could see. Oh, okay. Well, then, uh, let's just continue around to the other side, then. Yep. Let's let's continue around at least this level before we consider going down any others. Okay. Exactly, Mundos. All right. I guess I'll continue to walk point. Yep. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You're the one made of metal, after all. Bloop, 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 we're we're well, flesh blobs. Well, only partially metal. I kicked the <laughs> druid. Okay. <laughs> He, uh, yeah, there's there's a squelch from rotting corpse as you Ew. kick him. Yeah, it's gross. Okay, so you make it to the corner, and you can see a fair ways down the passage. I'm just going to kind of reveal it. I guess realistically, you can't see shit. It's pitch black in here. 
Oh so, yeah, as Warforged, I lost vision? my night vision. Yeah, you don't have night vision. I mean, I could use light. I think I have that as my cantrip now. I decided to choose a new cantrip because, meh, I don't know what my third one was before. All right. See, I can use, use that. Light. Shoo. Okay. So you, uh, yeah, now you can actually properly see as long as you're near Alarin. Alarin. Okay. Hey, hey, should I give myself that little aura glow? Uh, no, that is way too much work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you guys, uh, yeah. Um, maybe uh -uh. a little bit more. How much does, like, 30 the, feet. 30? Yeah, so six tiles. Okay. Ah. Uh. Yeah, no one can see it. <laughs> I can't. I can't see it. <laughs> oh, really? Only I can see it. <laughs> That's not a very That's effective glow. But, but, but uh, I will light the way for everyone, and then she's the only one that can see it. <laughs> <laughs> she just wanders into the darkness, and we lose her forever. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a way for me to save it with everyone. Hmm, that's so weird. Okay, so you guys find yourselves. In a uh, yourselves in a uh, little like secret chambery place with another chest. Yep, there is a chest there. It's not locked. Well, what lies within? Okay, you find. Let me figure it out. Where is the? Okay, here we go. Uh, inside you find... Oh, you can see my aura. Yeah, I, I said so. So you find uh, four little mm. upgrade orbs and a pair of boots. Ooh. And the the boots are kind of cold to the touch. Weird. Uh, who wants to keep track of the upgrade orbs? I mean, I don't have any more as far as I know. Yeah, Let's I don't have any more upgrade orbs. see if I even have any more. I oh, I do I have, have. I do have two orbs, but they're little. I have ones. one. I have one upgraded orb and one sticky sword. I forgot about the sticky orb. <laughs> I never used it. We were all too. We were waiting for something very special. Oh yeah, I'd use the spellcaster orb on my necklace. What did that do to it? Uh. I had forgotten that. Um, Do I just get like a bonus to it? Here, let me think. I'll, I'll. Next time you you get into a fight or cast a spell, I'll have an answer for you. Okay. Let's see. Advanced. Oh yeah, there we are. Actually, speaking of auras, hey bird, your uh your aura is a ten foot thing, right? Yeah, it's only 10 feet. Okay. Because it's passive. If this kingdom had a smuggling there problem, I can't imagine where it came from. So that, <laughs> that, that is the... Gargantuan uh, tunnel. <laughs> that is the uh, the bird saving bonus, if you guys are nearby. I see it. Okay. That'll hopefully uh, remind everybody. Okay, uh, oh, so yeah, you, I'll remember. That means if you put an aura on me, everyone should be able to see yeah, it. Yeah, so now you guys can see auras properly. Okay, fun. So, you guys have uh, have looted the place. You don't find anything else of really any use. Uh, looks like the rest of the stuff was uh, like dried food that did not go uh, bad. Well, is there anything we can use? We probably yeah. want to use it as rations. Yeah, if you guys want to stock up on rations, you are more than welcome to. How many rations oh, okay. does this give sure. us? I will admit, at this point, I've given up on the ration system. Well, uh, at this point, we each should deduct one point, ration for the rest. Uh, at this point, I mean, we've been using resting as an honor system this whole time anyway. Yeah, it's... We've been abusing I, it, so... I Unless you guys run into a, a place where you are running out, then we'll just set you at, like, a limited amount. Um, but let's... Let's say the maximum you carry on you at a time is five, and you guys can go back up to five here. Okay. Uh, okay. And then if you I have will a now to go a point. down to five. <laughs> I mean, you, can, you can have more than that if your character is like willing to do that, but after a certain point, I'm gonna have to be like, you have too much shit on you. 
Because you don't act, you none of you have upgraded your bags of holding, so at this point they're bursting at the seams. Wait, wait. Uh, says you. That's... I never collect anything. Yeah, oh, it's true. Bags um... of holding run out of space. <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay. Uh, should I? Uh, maybe I'll use my two upgrade orbs on my bag of holding. Okay, it looks much, much less full, and uh, it seems a lot more spacious. Yay! You guys can upgrade pretty much everything if you want to. Uh. But since none of you guys bother looting anything, I haven't really, like, been too stringent on it. I guess except for I like for to Alarm, keep my d, &D, &D campaigns uh, and my inventory systems very simple. If it's not in my immediate hands, don't really care about it too much. But then how are you going to collect one of every weapon? Uh, uh, they're not poked mans. And then you can make a basically like the Game of Thrones throne for your Warforged. Alrighty. Who wants to venture deeper into a dungeon? You can't see over there. Uh, yeah, I that's why I'm trying to keep up with them. 10 feet in front of me. Alright. Oh, yeah, I remember this area. I mean, I don't because I have no spatial reasoning. But when we were playing here last time, the person controlling me remembers that this area looked kind of weird. And yep. a secret tunnel in the top of the map would explain why that was the case. Is Skitter following? You yeah, Skitter's following. He has dark vision. see so through not, walls. He is not too worried about That's what about. I'm saying. Like, uh, the player knew this. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> Alright, so at this point we must be at the other corner. Yep. Would you, you say that have... a little bird taught you? <laughs> Told Shut you. the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm waiting with about six years for that joke. <laughs> Not so the you guys have found your way back to more or less the initial chamber that you were in. I'm just going to carry a skitter over on the side or something. I don't know. There we are. Uh, so yeah, you get the door open and you can go back into that uh, that little side room that you uh, found your way into last time on your own. Oh, hey, I remember what I was here last. It's been it looks kind of weird. And now if there's a secret tunnel wrapping around it, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I think you were unconscious last time. Wait, we're all the way back in this tower? Section? A apparently so. I assume that this place is super duper weird and crystal-y looking now, yes? No, the interior of the building actually is not, but you can't see out the windows because there's like mm. a thick layer of crystal covering it, and it's like starting to come in the windows. We should tread very carefully. This area gives me heebie jeebies. Well, we slept here once on purpose. I did want to see what was also going on with the Thwomping Stone. We'll work our way back there. I just so, want to explore. If you if there's a secret further. tunnel, you can't tell me not to explore it. I'm going to reveal the whole thing because you guys pretty much have full run of the Thank place. You. You're the only ones that know it's there. So the entire tunnel runs the entire uh, course of the uh, small keep, uh, or at least the, the small old keep, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it is, uh, it's actually, it doesn't look like anybody has been here before, really. Like, there is a thick layer of dust covering the floor, and the stonework looks fairly old. Um, huh. And surprisingly pristine, like, better, better uh, stoneworking than pretty much the rest of the keep. That you've been through, huh. so whoever had made this had made it well, and then never ever used it. Weird. I'm surprised well, the druid knew about this. Oh yeah. I guess uh, around his area is the dust any different, or is it just like uh, this area that we've noticed the dust is like? Thicker? No, it was pretty dusty where he was. The huh. only reason why it wasn't, like, immediately obvious was because there was dry blood everywhere, which was a little bit more, uh, obvious. Oh, so this goes back to the barracks where Greg had fought well, those other soldiers. Yeah, things went pretty poor for Greg in, in this room. Wow, we found yeah. this the first time around. There might be a lot fewer dead people. Yeah. Like so us. The, uh, so... Uh, do you actually go out into that room, or are you just kind of at the door? Oh, um, why not? That's always a I guess question. I committed to it. I should stick with it if I'm going to move my token around, right? Okay, so you go out in there, and uh, there are two very familiar individuals. 
Oh, god damn it. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. They are... Back. Cliffhanger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they are actually right. slumped over the uh, the beds. Uh, and you can see, like, kind of crystal growing on them. Oh. Oh, so you're are not going to put soldier tokens dead? down? They're very much dead. I can put the soldier oh, tokens the down. Oh, is the people who killed him? Yeah, the uh, the two them? people that had knocked his ass out oh. uh, previously when he came through. They are... For a brief moment, I'm like, it's Greg and Gorlar. <laughs> <laughs> they're, no, they're... no. No, they're just, huh. they're just in these beds and they are uh, motionless. I go over and attempt to break off some of the crystal growing on them into my hand. Uh, yeah, it takes like a little bit of effort. It seems pretty, uh, pretty well entrenched. Uh, but eventually you have like a small chunk of crystal. Weird. It seems to grow off of organic and inorganic material alike. Well, were these Those soldiers were the words. humunculi soldiers, or were they human soldiers? These were humunculi. I mean, you can also come over and check yourself. Okay, what do these guys look like? Uh, they look like... Uh, kind of... Okay, so, um, roll an arcana check, because... Okay, so you know what a homunculus is, and you know they're kind of freaky. Uh, so these guys look like they were kind of assembled from, not from bits and pieces of people, per se, though they do, lo do look a little bit mismatched. It looks more like uh, somebody had uh, clay, like fleshy clay, and sculpted what kind of were people. Uh, and then uh, put them in armor and made them pretend to be guards. Uh, so they've got kind of wicked looking claws and like their faces are horrifying. Um... And just in general, they're, they look wrong. Like, the musculature is, is kind of there, but, like, not really. Uh, it, it looks, you know, you know, kind of that, that lion, the taxidermied lion <laughs> that uh, yeah. they brought back the, the dead lion and had the taxidermist try and make it up? It kind of like that. Like, it, it's almost sort of, but not really right. So it's like some... Entity that only vaguely knew what humans looked like tried to create a facsimile. Yeah. Or just not an expert on the matter. You're not really sure. Huh. But and the you crystals... Do no you do notice a fair amount of blood uh, that kind of uh, is, is smeared through where you are. Oh, and where does the blood lead? Is it... Is it something that's on the homunculi or derived like, from it? It looks pretty old blood, like pretty old blood. Um, but it looks like something had dragged something, someone or something through this room and then out the doors. Oh, that may have been Greg. Uh, definitely was Greg. It was definitely Greg. Yes, uh, I guess the story here for you to know is that... Uh, after uh, Drez was um, gone, I assume he died, uh, and after you were taken uh, captive, I attempted to uh, pass myself off as uh, guard, and it didn't go too well. And uh, this was about one of the last things that happened before Greg got thrown into portal to hell. You were trying to wear armor over armor. <laughs> Uh, apparently that was actually the correct course of action. I did not know it at the time. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, well, everything around this is covered in crystal, right? We already saw uh, it looks... the The, like, edges of the doors and the windows have crystal growing on them. And then the beds. Um, What's the but... uh, temperature like? Is it warm? Is it cold? It's cooler. Uh, it's frigid definitely being... here. Yeah, being in the <laughs> being in the in the crystally zone, uh, you are definitely uh, cooler than normal, and it doesn't it doesn't help that the the secret passage itself is more frigid than even even the uh, the barracks. Mm. Oh wait, but I have cold resistance. Yeah. All right. So you well, are all good. I think the our best case of action at this point is to head back to the druid that got us into this area first. And then, uh, 
Uh, proceed and to look kick at the again. Blocky blockies. Oh, hey, guys. There's another staircase over here. Maybe it just goes under the gate. I can't see shit. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. It does. Like, that's just how you get back to the other side. Oh. Oh, It just hops wow. to the other side? Yep. Oh, the... What? Uh, I like grab the yeah. I grab the stretch uh, marker for Skitter instead. So suddenly I had <laughs> extra wide. How did you know that, Skitter? I I was here. Remember? Oh, you were going through the secret passage in the walls. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Let's go back into this room. I my I say. Well, who's your god now? It's. Dimitri. The strange eldritch eyeball is dead, and the uh, the party has full reign to explore the old keep. What will they find in the uh, the, the sub dungeon, the side building? Who knows? Well, I guess you will on the next episode of Dungeons and Dragons: Grave of Man.